estimates the U.S. saw 30,000 more people living on the streets in 2022 than in 2018. Dubuque is seeing similar growth. Now, local homelessness advocates tell me since the pandemic started, Dubuque has seen more and more people sleeping in the street, going from just three in 2019 to 16 this last year. And while that number is pretty relatively small, local advocates say it does not represent the whole population. They might have, they might be the same as aunts and uncles, grandma, grandpa, um, brother and sister, so you don't see them because they're seen with other, uh, you know, thankfully they're seen with other family members, but that isn't always ideal either because sometimes there's not good things happening within that family household. In Dubuque, they estimate about 270 families with children are living without homes, and over 100 more individuals live the same. Organizations in Dubuque, like the Rescue Mission, say they just don't have the space or resources for them all and don't have enough support. The UN believes the only way for Dubuque to address the problem is if people know how bad it is. Based on everything I've heard about Dubuque and I know about Dubuque, there's a, it's a compassionate community, but they just don't understand how bad the problem is. And it, keep, it keeps getting worse because we're not addressing some of the core issues and, and then it's going to just collapse. Neil and MB local groups at the meeting today look to working with local officials and legislators to raise awareness of what they see as a growing issue. However, advocates tell me without more community support, there's a hard limit to what organizations can do, and it's looking like a long road ahead before they can fix that. I'm going to be with our next head for News 7, KWB.